Hey guys, Super Blush Series here, and today I'm going to be reviewing every single plush that I got for Christmas. I'm only going to be going over the plushes because, well, those are mainly the things I got. I got a few other things like games and money and other stuff like that, but I'm only going to be going over the plushes today. So yeah, I also got these cool things from my channel as well, which I'll be showing you in a little while, but I'm going to start over there with those plushes and go this way. And I'm just going to kind of do like a mini review on all of them. Now starting off over here we have the black Yoshi which isn't actually like these Yoshis because well, if you look at the tags of these Yoshis, uh, if the camera will focus, I need to get in better lighting I think. Alright, uh, it says Yoshi's Island DS, you can't see it because my camera won't focus but this one's actually in Korean. As you can see there, this is actually part of a really extremely like obscure Korean set that I didn't even know existed until I got this plush. Because well, these two Yoshi plushes are part of like the normal Yoshi's Island DS set, but this one's actually part of the Korean Yoshi's Island DS set, which is extremely rare and I could only really find like very little information about. You know, I wasn't even able to find like any other pictures besides like this one plush that was like on eBay of like any Korean releases of the Yoshi's Island DS plushes. So yeah, obviously this is probably one of the rarest plushes in my whole collection because well, I, I haven't even seen anyone else that owns one besides me. So yeah, if anyone else has like information about this like extremely rare plush, then uh, comment that down below because I would love to see like more in the set because well, to my knowledge, uh, this is the only one. I'm assuming there's the rest of like the colors in the set, but I don't really know because this is the really the only one that I could find. And we'll have another part of the Yoshi's on DS plush set. These are just the normal releases. We have the yellow one with the normal tag, and same thing with the light blue one. Uh, these two are in pretty good condition, actually. And well, I'm trying to complete the whole set because I have a total of five right now, except there's a total of eight in the set. So yeah, I'm trying to complete the whole set. But they overall are in all pretty good condition. This one's in the best condition by far. Like you can just see, this was just a lot fuzzier than these ones because these ones seem to be like a little more beat up, but they're still in pretty good condition overall. And what we got, my only Plants vs. Zombies plush that I got is the Blover. So yeah, this one's overall pretty cool. And I actually really needed this one to complete like the Lynx and Set 1 set. I need a few more to complete this set, but this one's overall pretty important one that I needed. And well, this one's also missing the tag, and well, it's also missing the suction cup, but overall, it's still in pretty good condition besides that. And well, I'm really glad that I got it because well, I'm trying to complete the set. Also, one thing that's really interesting about this plush, it has a really short string instead of like a normal long string. So yeah, if you have an explanation for that, comment that down below as well because well, I don't know why that just doesn't have a normal string for some reason. And well, moving on, we have the Diddy Kong. So yeah, overall, I would actually say that this plush is really high quality because well, since it's part of the All-Star set, it has really nice embroidery on like the shirt and everything. And it's also still... I don't know if you can see it, but it still has the hang tag. Yeah, you can see it right there. It still has the hang tag, so yeah, it's overall in pretty good condition. I'm really glad that I have it. And also, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's in perfect condition because it also has this thing here as well. So yeah, overall, really nice plush in great condition. And also, this probably has to be the best Diddy Kong plush that was ever made because, well, it's just really high quality and everything like that. And well, over here we have Donkey Kong, which is actually my first Donkey Kong plush, and well, this one doesn't have the hang tag, but it's still overall in great condition. It doesn't have, like, uh, the hang, like, it doesn't have, like, this hanging thing up here, like, uh, Diddy Kong, but, like, it's still in overall great condition, and I would definitely recommend getting this plush, because it's probably the most high-quality Donkey Kong plush as well, because, well, the All-Star ones are just, like, really high-quality. So yeah, I would definitely recommend getting like Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong because well, they're overall pretty cheap for how high quality they are and you could easily find them on Amazon. So yeah, I would definitely recommend getting those two because well, they're just super high quality and really cheap for how good they are. And well, moving on to probably the most important Kong that I got, which is Funky Kong because well, this is one of the only Funky Kong plushes that were made and in my opinion is the best one. The overall just has a lot of details on it. As you can see, the flip flops are made out of this foam material, and the surfboard it has like this Nintendo design on it, and it's uh, overall just really high quality, and it's made out of a ton of different materials. Because, well, this is obviously made out of a plush material. The nose pieces are made out of like a felt material. The glasses are like made out of like this plastic material. Uh, the surfboard is also made out of a plastic material. These shorts are made out of like this, uh, I don't know how to explain it. It's just kind of a weird material. And same thing with the bandana. And also the shoes, like, I mean, like, the flip-flops have, like, the string material here, and they're also made out of foam. So, yeah, this is overall just a really cool plush that has a ton of different materials on it. Actually, it holds up pretty well over the years. There is a lot of details that could get damaged, but if you take good care of it, it looks great. 
So yeah, I would definitely recommend getting these three Kongs, especially the Funky Kong, because well, the Funky Kong is one of the only plushes that you could get of him, and this one probably has to be the best in terms of quality. And well, moving on to over here, we have the Kooplings and Bowser. So yeah, the two Kooplings are overall just really high quality because they're part of the All-Star set. So yeah, that's probably one of the best sets Mario plushes that were ever made. So they're obviously super high quality. You can see by the embroidery on the face here and just all the details are silly like made. And they overall put a lot of effort into it. As you can see on the shelves, they have all the details that are correct. And also there's some like beads in his feet. You probably can't hear it on camera, but there's some beads in his feet. And it overall just looks really nice and there's really only like a one detail on this plush that could damage which is the teeth because they're made of a felt material but besides that these two plushes are overall really good. And well moving on to the final plush here we have the all star Bowser. This is probably my favorite Bowser plush that was ever made because well it's overall just really high quality as you can see. I'm gonna try to get in better lighting for this one. As you can see, it overall is just really high quality with like the stitching and everything. Uh, the only really detail I could get damaged is the teeth once again because they're made out of felt. But yeah, his face and all the details are overall just really nicely stitched on. And well, they clearly put a lot of work into this plush. And another detail that could get damaged is the spikes could get understuffed. But if you keep it in nice shape and like take care of it, it actually is a really good plush that holds up really well. And well, those are all my plushes, but I also have these like metal things which uh, have my uh, channel name engraved into them. If we go over here into good lighting, you can see that it overall just looks really nice. My stupid camera will not focus. There we go. But yeah, look how nice this looks. This one's like a 2D version, but if we put this one down and get this one over here, you could kind of see like it's more 3D. Like you could see here. It looks more 3D-ish, but it's the exact same thing as the other one, except it's just like slightly higher quality. And I actually like this one more than the other ones because, well, it just kind of looks like 3D-ish, as you can tell by it changing lighting. I know my camera's really bad. It's just because it's just my phone, so it won't really focus that well. But I'm, tr I'm trying to get it to focus to show you guys. Oh my god, my stupid camera will not work. Alright, so I managed to get it to focus pretty well here. I hope you can see this nicely. But yeah, sadly my phone just doesn't focus well. But yeah, I hope you were able to see those pretty well. And overall, they're just really nice in my opinion. Because, well, they're overall just really exclusive gifts. And I'm really glad that I got them. So yeah, out of all these plushes, I would have to say the Black Yoshi is probably my favorite. Just because of how obscure and rare it is. Because, well... To my knowledge, this is one of the only DS Korean Yoshi plushes that exists because, well, in South Korea, there's barely any Mario merchandise to begin with, so I didn't even know this plush existed in the first place. So, yeah, it probably has to be the rarest out of all of these, and also one of my favorite. My second favorite probably has to be Funky Kong, just for how exclusive he is. But, yeah, comment down below which of these plushes that I got for Christmas is your favorite. I also just really like these, like, metal things here that have my name engraved onto them. But yeah, overall, I would say that I definitely got a good amount of plushes, and well, there's also one extremely rare one over there, so yeah, if you have any information about that, comment that down below, and yeah, I hope you have a great Christmas and got everything you wanted, and yeah, have a great day.